The play tight end whip out of the Patriots playbook and the gun on Y off trips formation or Y off trips pats or U trips is one of the best routes in the game. Features one of the best routes in the game for beating man to man coverage. It's not the whip route. We're actually going to take the whip route off the field for this. And I'm going to show you this really cool post route. So I think it's one of the more underrated routes in Madden right now because not very many people are utilizing this sharp post route. The sharper the route right now is the better against man. So what we're going to do with this play is we're going to create a mesh concept. So what I like to do here is we're going to flat this outside trips receiver. We're going to drag these two receivers in the middle, the tight end and the solo, and then we're going to wheel route our running back. I think for pound for pound right now, this is one of the best ways uh, to attack man coverage. And the reason why is because mesh is really good against man this year. So the first read on this play is, is obviously going to be this post. This post is your main route on the play. It is the route that makes the play what it is. And what you can see that you get consistently here um, is this post route will win. It will win against man. It will win against zone. Um, and a lot because of the sharp cut. Inside pass lead, boom, easy read. Okay. You can, if you are first down in 10, you can smart route it and it will get a little bit deeper. What I love about this post route though is how sharply it cuts back inside. And it really, it's it's a very flat post, which is really helpful for beating man this year. Boom, easy read, okay? That route is a winner for you against man coverage. Now you might say, okay, well, what about, you know, what a lot of people are doing right now, meta-wise, is you're getting these shaded up, uh, like they'll press and they'll shade up, which is a good way to play man right now. What you'll see with this post, again, the sharpness of the cut is what makes it so good. And it's a potential one play score if they're playing cover zero. So they have to use her that post. So because they have to use the post, now let's um, show this real quick. So because they have to use the post, let's say they blitz you. Let's say they blitz you. You have this running back quick throw out of the backfield. Just quick throw, boom, easy read. And we're going to take our easy yards. Now you might need to wait on that just a little bit longer. But again, typically speaking, they're going to be down here trying to get some A-gap pressure on you if they're running 3-3 cub or whatever. So you've got to get the ball out of your hands quickly. But... Just be patient with this. If you see that linebacker blitz, you're looking to this running back, you break one tackle, it's a touchdown. Okay, very good read against, against this. So now they have to kind of, you know, make some adjustments for that um, and do some stuff. Another little thing, let's say they start to adjust to the running back. So maybe they start going like this. You can still run the concept with blocking the running back. So if they start to take your running back away, just block him and run it just like this. And now what you're going to see is you got two people guarding one and you've got your wide open tight end drag that can go for, you know, a touchdown. As you can see, I mean, big, big hitter over the middle. Again, these mesh routes are so good, so, so good at beating man-to-man -man coverage. It, it, they really are um, very effective this year at consistently working against man coverage. So you see here, here we go again, boom. See the mesh wide open, and now you've got a huge play. And the beauty of the mesh is they really do bump into each other very well this year, uh, which is what part of what makes it so good. Even if they're even if you're playing somebody, and let's say they're playing off coverage like this, I've noticed these mesh routes still work. So you'll see here, boom, boom, wide open gets that separation, and then you're able to check it down and get open for a couple yards. So very, very good concept. So if you think about what are they going to have to do defensively? Well, a couple things. One of the biggest things they're going to have to do is they're going to drop hard flats, okay? That's one of the most common things they're going to do. Because we're utilizing wheel routes on both sides and because we're utilizing flat patterns, you're going to notice that these flats are not going to play in the middle. So you can throw these in the middle in the seam area and they just get separation. So the user has to choose, like, and typically what the user will choose is go to the post, so you're going to check down to the drag a lot. But let's say he wants to get really aggressive and he wants to get down here and he wants to take away the he wants to take away the the drags. That's where this poster really shines. So you see here, sharp cut to the inside. I don't know why the freeform is out of control right now. They've got to fix that. Um, but he's wide open in the middle of the field. So again, if they come down to the drag, you just are throwing that post inside, and we'll show it here a little bit. Boom, right there. And of course, that receiver, I just didn't put him on the drag, but you see the idea, the post route against man. So now you have really good man plays. Um, the next thing is zone. And what's really cool about this play is you have to shade down in zone to stop it. Otherwise, the drags and the flats are going to be wide open. So, But if they do that, watch this post. Because it's so sharp, you can throw it in this little pocket right over here to the right side. This is why we utilize a flat route to that outside receiver. 
Now let's just go against like a standard uh, cover three and you'll see some cool stuff with this. So again, here's the post. You're just gonna pass lead inside. It just gets just enough depth that it gets underneath, over the top of the yellows and underneath the deep blue zones. So that's another big benefit to this. One of the best ways to stop this play is to use a cover two. But again, look at these drags that are gonna be wide open because these yellows are drifting back to defend the post. This play is well equipped to really attack any defense that your opponent throws at you. And the beauty of this is it's so simple. It's so simple. You don't need any hot route Kims. You don't need a hot route master. You don't need anything. And you're going to get wide receivers wide open, guys. U-Trips does that this year. If you guys want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below. I think this offense is really versatile. can do a lot of different things right now. And you get all the other ebooks too by becoming a member. We've got, I think, 14 offensive and defensive ebooks so a lot of different ways and styles uh for you if you want to play madden in different ways but i really like u trips right now thanks for watching join the patreon link is going to be down in the description below